I wish I could get an hour of my life back. Now, I'm not going to say that I hate this song. I wish I could bend it. Anyways, I'm not going to say that I hate this show, but um, it is definitely not entertaining for me. There are a couple parts of the episode that I might enjoy, but more than anything, Flash is kind of a big blah to me. It is so repetitive. Everything is pretty much cheesy about the episode at this point. All three episodes, for real. Like, each episode had their moment, but it's, it's just not enough to keep me entertained to the point where I want to keep coming back at the damn show. This is probably going to be the last review I do for The Flash, honestly, unless something drastic changes and is mind-shattering and just the earth just opens up and eats my television. I can't waste any more time on this show. And don't get me wrong, if this is your cup of tea, then this is your cup of tea, but this show is just not doing it for me. If you like the show, go watch the show. Me, myself, and I will no longer be partaking... <sighs> will no longer be partaking in the Flash series. I just can't do it to myself. I just... I was watching it, you know what I'm saying? I was kicked back and I was like... <laughs> and, like, five minutes into the episode, I was just getting like, I just want to turn it off. Nobody should feel like that when they're watching a movie, a show, or whatever. You know, you want to be entertained, damn it! I'm not entertained by The Flash. Everything's so predictable so far. Everything, it's been the same formula, just straight out the gate. He, there's somebody doing bad things. He rushes to the scene. Too late to get there, somebody dies or is hurt badly. He cries about it. He decides not to be a hero. He feels like he doesn't need anybody else. Everybody talks him into needing everybody else. He puts back on the suit. He goes get his butt whooped for a little bit. Then he breaks through like the badass that he is and kicks her behind. And blah, happy story. A filler filler somewhere in there. I, for one, have had enough of The Flash. Now, I'm kind of disappointed about it, but, you know, it is what it is. It's either a hit or a miss, and right now, The Flash is just a miss for me. I'll still be reviewing Cora, Constantine, Gotham. I got a couple game reviews I'm going to be doing, so don't don't worry about my content levels, okay? And I'm also blogging at Farky. Farky. I'm also blogging at Farky.com at the moment, so if you want my my take on uh, usually things I don't get the chance to record about, because the easiest thing for me to do right now is keep up with the shows that are out, right? Simple. I got, few, I got lots of comics that I read. I got lots of mangas that I read, but I just do not have time in my life to... Rec mm, hit my equipment. Record about each one. So you know what I'm saying. There's plenty of content going around. Check me out at Farky.com if you want to hear me talk about things other than television shows that are out right now. Blah, blah, blah. The Flash will just not be one of them anymore, alright? Okay, if you like that show, then go watch it. But me? Me? I'm done. I can't. I feel like I'm wasting energy on the Flash. It makes me sleepy. Alright, so I'm about to go take a nap. Cool. The special effects. You know how in TV shows, special effects are usually cheesy? Even in this day and age, you know what I'm saying? They kind of got that, like, oh, this is television effect look to it. Constantine has some really grody... Well done, special effects. You go, Constantine. Now, if you don't know anything about Constantine, Constantine. Is Thank you for watching Geek D TV. Yeah, there's no one else like me. Yeah, come back every six days of the week to get your dose of nerdy. Hope you like and subscribe to the YouTube just to find the nerd of you.